Welcome. My name is Arlene Narvaez. And I'm Yolanda Chavira, and we are members of the NCIEC Trilingual Task Force. Our language is a reflection of our culture, a culture that shapes the way we communicate and how we understand communication. As interpreters, culture shapes how we render the message to our consumer. Most interpreter training programs focus on cultural and linguistic variations between American Sign Language and English and between deaf and hearing cultures. The trilingual interpreter, especially when working in video relay, is working with people from a variety of Spanish-speaking countries with linguistic and dialectical variations and cultural nuances. It is no wonder that they are said to go around the world in a day. The National Consortium of Interpreter Education Centers, NCIEC Trilingual Task Force, conducted research on the domains and competencies it required of a trilingual interpreter working in American Sign Language, Spanish, and English, which led to this video project highlighting the work of trilingual interpreters. There are very few video resource materials and training opportunities for trilingual interpreters using research that identifies skills and effective practices. This video program is for educational and training purposes and is intended as a tool for students and prospective trilingual interpreters. However, in addition to interpreters, this video program is a valuable resource for teachers, trainers, hiring entities and interpreters working alongside trilingual interpreters. Anyone in the interpreting field can benefit from this educational resource. What you will see are four scenarios. Two were filmed in Los Angeles, California, and two were filmed in Austin, Texas. The two filmed in Los Angeles include a parent-teacher conference and a mock VRS call. The two filmed in Austin include social services and education and counseling, including working with a CDI. All scenarios, including the mock VRS scenario, show real settings with actual practicing trilingual interpreters, although some information has been modified. Just like in many interpreting assignments, the interpreters had a general idea of what they were walking into. None of these scenarios were scripted. The content of each scenario is typical to the work of a trilingual interpreter. You will also find a pre-conference interview with the interpreter for some of the scenarios and a post-interview with the interpreters for all of the scenarios, in which they share their thoughts on the process, their challenges, and their general feelings about the work. Additionally, you will see highlights for each scenario showing some of the skills used. Only a few skills are listed. We encourage you to identify more. We hope that you will benefit and learn from this tool as much as we did in bringing it together. Thank you for taking the time to watch this program.